What is going on guys? Today we have got Team of the Year Honorable Vinicius Jr. The 91 rated Brazilian is a 5 star 4 star with a 5 9. Can be left mid or left wing and he looks incredible. We do have a 90 version of him as well which is his path to glory from the World Cup. That is currently coming in at 1.3 and obviously this one is a 91 coming in at 2.4 at the moment. With obviously all of your premium La Liga upgrades, this is the card I think other than your Benzema's, your Modric's, your, your Militao's and Courtois, this would be an absolutely cracking one. And honestly I'd probably be looking for him more than a team of the year if I've already got a team in here, because I want at least one, like everybody. Let me know down below if you've got one, and who have you got. Outside of the foot, and, just before we carry on, what pack you got it out of, so I can duplicate it. Outside of the foot and flair as the traits, in terms of stats, Vinny's always very, very good. I feel like most years, kind of like leading up to mainly this year, it's always been a B-Tech Neymar sort of card. And as horrible that is to say, Vinny is now kind of sprouting his own seed in this FIFA franchise. And to be honest, looks like he will overtake him in the next couple of years, as that is how, how age works. Vinny looks like he would be incredible. Same as well as Rodrigo on the other side. Again, two absolute ballers in the game. Always love a five-star skiller. 99 pace. We've now got the shooting, which is what Neymar always struggled with because pretty much what Vinny has as well. The very minus on that shot power. We need that up a little bit. So the dead eye is going to work really well there. Composure could do with a bit of a job as well, but hopefully we will see that during team of the season. Would always love a 98 Vinny. You're never going to argue with that. So let's jump into him and see if this card is worth the premium value of over 2 million coins. Are you tired of using players like this? I would much rather have teams more like this then I recommend going over to skycoach.gg for all of your coaching and coins needs. They are cheap, fast, and reliable, but at the checkout, make sure you are using code JT11 for a discount on your orders. Back to the video. Right then, straight down the wing with this card. Normally, he is absolutely rapid, so I'm expecting some big things from him. Really liked his path to glory when we had it. It's a great ball into Benzema, who's going to bring it back across. Nearly get an assist from the get-go. Vinny! Goes for the little power, and I think that is where, personally, he would always lack. Obviously, with the shot power he's got, it's not necessarily as incredible. It's kind of his dribbling is what's going to carry him through here as we try and just get around everybody if we can. Finds the opening. It's got to be a goal. The left stick is always going to be absolutely nuts with a card like this. When they don't necessarily have the shot power, the agility, the balance, the skills are always heightened on a card like this especially. It's why Neymar is so good in and around the box because his agility is just absolutely next level. And again, looking for that one, two. We're going to find a little pass there. Can No, oh, Benzema can't squeeze it through to him there. I think also with a card like this, you also are oh, Hullet's always going to out, outdo him in every aspect. Any Hullet is, is always going to be able to deal with a card like this as well. So it's kind of very unfair to kind of judge him based on a Hullet performance. Because again, when you're looking at Hullet, he's just going to be anybody in, in any sort of aspect. That card is an absolute freak of the game. Looking for just a little bit of left stick. Nothing skill-based either. And that's the best bit about him. He can just dance. And yes, you do have to almost get to the point where your opponent doesn't know where you're going. And sometimes that can go off 50-50. If they go the right way, then obviously they're going to tackle you. That That's just a given. But I think with Vinny, he's very good at being in that narrow position where you've almost got no out. And he can just dribble his way through. And that's why I personally think he can he can link in so many different formations from completely out wing all the way into that cam roll because he has got that ability to almost just go through with very, very light touches and be able to, to actually dance around the opponent instead. Going to find him on the run here. We've got PK coming. Go with a few little step overs. Get the ball across and we've left it that little bit too late. There it is. Perfect ball, Vinny in on attack, go with the fake, comes across, and it's easy play for Vinny. Vinny inside, looking for something if we can, we've left it. 
gone for I don't know what skill that is and we've done too much if you're a five star baller then Vinny is going to be the one for you like Neymar I've absolutely loved Neymar's dribbling and I think it's the only thing personally that Vinny can't replicate and Neymar's just he's got it patterned I swear because him and Ronaldinho together both have that I don't know what sort of dribbling style it is, but it just works really well. Vinny, I feel like, will get to that point. I don't know if it is a specific category of dribbling or it is body type orientated, but I just don't think I've seen anybody other than them two with that style of dribbling. And again, down the wing, looking for the 1-2 off Mbappe. Find the move. Hakimi has been dragged out. We've got a multiple attack here. It's going fakes for it. Get the pass across and every time. To be honest, that's definitely more my fault. I do that so many times, it's unreal. Oh, finding one inside. Get a good first touch. Go for the second, and I'm going to say that was a cross. Oh, that's a stunning ball. Cancelo coming across for this one, though. Mbappe is going to find his magic. He oh, Okay, Koulibaly is going to sweep that one up nicely. Again, strength-wise, he's never going to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a centre-back. Pace-wise, he most definitely can. But uh, in terms of strength, like most dribblers, he's not going to be able to, to withstand a Koulibaly, a Virgil, a Maldini. That's just never going to happen. But should be able to beat them on the agility side of stuff. I feel like it would be more like we're seeing with the team of the year, Hakimi here. They have got an absolute enormous amount of pace and everything to, to kind of keep up with any sort of dribbling style as well. Oh, and straight across goal for Vinny to get it back to 1-1. Very, very good at getting in and behind everybody. Tries to ping it across, just finding them options if he can. Just adds the panic. It's very nice to be able to have somebody who you can constantly ping balls. Even in a, a five at the back, a three at the back, a four at the back. You know that he's going to be able to get in behind. Get the run right. Get the pass right. And you are absolutely in the money every single time with him. Oh, it's beautiful. But he's offside. He absolutely takes Koulibaly. Vinny finding it in again. Can we go with a one on to Koulibaly? Oh, the pace is too good for him. And again, finding the inside if he can. Can we get that pass right? It's a good pass, but Hakimi, as we know, is straight hot on it. Try and find a little bit of dribbling. Pings it, and Mbappe! Oh, he fell over in the final hurdle. Oh, Vinny, stop it! Oh, what a save. Can we get the header back? Anybody find something? So if we go to Vinny again, he is now coming in at 2.1. So we are seeing a big dip in him. And I can imagine, judging from the upgrades, we've really only had kind of an inform upgrade. Yes, this one should probably have more supply than the previous one. Mainly because everybody is doing upgrades like there's no tomorrow. Everybody wants these team of the years. So there's probably, in my eyes, going to be more packs opened than when we saw Path to Glory. And it's all about that supply and demand. In terms of this card, it's 1.7 now. I believe he was cheaper a minute ago. Yeah, so he's about 1.2, 1.3. There must be a glitch or a spike because people are trying to put at the value of what Vinny's path to, uh, what his other card is, because obviously you could then potentially could get somebody who lists it and buys it, but it's very unlikely since so the card color is different. But in terms of Vinny, fantastic. He's always been a nice end game sort of card. We saw with obviously his generations, every final card, the footies, the summer heat, the uh, future star, well, the future stars is where it all started. But every card from Vinny has been fantastic uh, kind of every year so far. So I'm expecting maybe at least a foot is at the end of the year or at least a team of the season, depending on how well he's done in the league. But this card, again, is absolutely spectacular. If you was to get him in La Liga, you'd absolutely be happy. Also, I think in terms of La Liga, you have got Valverde, Fakir, Pedri, and I think that's it for La Liga. So there is actually four others or three others, including then Vinny, that you can get if you are trying to get a, path to, uh, a team of the year honourable, as well as then the four team of the years as well. This card in general, a 10 out of 10. The dribbling's beautiful. The pace is fantastic. Shooting's really nice now. In terms of chem style, I feel like Deadeye, like we said, would be the best one, just because you get that maximum amount of finishing. You get 98 shot power as well, taking it up by 15, which for me is very, very important. He's already got incredible agility. Composure 
would be nice to have a little bit more, but again, we can't unfortunately fix any of that. So I think in general, this card is as good as he's going to be until at least team of the season, unless we see another SBC later on down the line. But I think that could probably be it for Vinny. I'd imagine if he does get an inform, he might as well be 88, 89. I don't think they're going to make him a 92, judging off these non-performance slash performance based cards but let me know what you think about Vinny. make sure you do like and subscribe and tell me who you've got in team of the year so far but from that catch you all next time